All right, today we are going to get started talking about our seventh grade art class here. Uh, reminder, we meet on Mondays and Thursdays. Those are the days I take attendance. Uh, don't leave until well, I say leave until the end of class because uh, I do a screen capture of the participants is how I take attendance. And if your name's not in that list, you won't be counted present. And so please make sure you don't leave early. Um, Quick review of the home page. Uh, I think I've auctioned this off on several occasions, but I know we have some brand new students, so let's go over it again. Uh, again, uh, Mondays and Thursdays are the times we actually meet for attendance. Those uh, times on Tuesdays and Friday, um, those are uh, times that I'm available if you have questions about the module or about the art that we are working on. Uh, contact me at the email address. Please don't use the Google Voice. I have it. I don't know how it works. Uh, I just got an iPhone yesterday. I'm having enough trouble figuring that thing out. So uh, if you need to hold me, send me an email. Um, it's, I, I respond much quicker because I know how to. <laughs> uh, this link, uh, this button here is how you'll come to our, our, home, our uh, Zoom link each week. Please don't rely on any link that you have uh, been given in a schedule or in an email. Where I teach elementary, middle, and high school, that link often changes. And it doesn't matter if you're clicking this button because it just clicks the right link. On Mondays, we will do our walkthrough, module walkthrough. We'll have our first one today. We're going to walk through a module, kind of look at how a module works. Uh, we won't really start a lot of content this week, but we will next week. And we will know how we start that. So today's kind of a, a walkthrough on how your Mondays will go. Uh, on Thursdays, we will actually make art. Uh, a couple reminders here. I will do demonstrations each Thursday in Chrome Canvas or Sketchpad, some type of application that you can uh, use to create your art on. You do not have to purchase materials. Having said that, if you have pencils, paper, crayons, markers, paints, whatever you have and all that you would like to use, you are always, always more than welcome to use the media that you have at hand. Um, da, 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 boo, rules for attending the meeting, please come in with your first and last name in the Zoom identification. Don't use a um, nickname, uh, no numbers, that sort of thing. Please uh, come in, you'll be muted, you can have your cameras on, it's fine, you can say hello at the beginning. But once with the meeting started, please don't type in the chat to everyone for any reason. Uh, if you have a question, type it directly to me. Uh, and I will respond in real time. It's one of the nice things about running from a video is I can be my own aid. This section is where each week you will find what we're going to be doing. Uh, the module we will start will be highlighted here with a link. Go directly to it. Uh, once the video is posted, and by the time you come to class tomorrow, this video I'm making right now will be posted right there. You can click for any reason that uh, you aren't able to make it. You can always watch the video link. Uh, and then uh, after Thursday, after we've got an art assignment, uh, you're going to click and put it in here. We're going to talk about the art assignment today, even though you're not really going to start it until next week, until Thursday. Uh, the editing link to my uh, additional resources, my website that has additional resources for you if you like. Uh, lots of cool stuff at STLP, lots of uh, programs and so forth you can use. If you don't know how to use these, you can click on them, and most of them will have a little uh, how-to video on how to use those. None of those lessons, and I'll go back here, none of these lessons are required. These are all um, lessons you can do just for fun uh, and learn some new applications. If you come to this one, this will bring you the lessons for uh, color wheel demonstrations, uh, collages, marbleizing, digital paint lessons, um, uh, coding lessons. There's all kinds of fun stuff in there. And last but not least at the bottom is my schedule where they see the times in light blues. That's the easiest time to drop into my class. And uh, always send me an email first. The Zoom doesn't stay open. Uh, it'd be nice if it did, but it closes itself out. And if I have it running in the background, it doesn't even make a sound. It just goes away and I don't even know. So always send me an email and I'll make sure to have that meeting. I'll pop it open real quick. Uh, after 3 o'clock, almost always, you send me an email and I'll Zoom with you very soon thereafter. All right. So today we're going to click on that module and take us to the modules that we're going to be doing this week. Uh, the sections of the module we're going to do, I will go over on Monday. I'll say it again. I will go over these on Monday. I say it again because uh, even though you have access to it, there's a lot of stuff in these modules that we do not do. 
if you just jump into that module, you're going to do a whole lot of work, but I'm never going to look at her great. So please always either attend the class, make sure you watch the Zoom, don't go into those modules. Uh, you won't know what's going on. You'll be like, oh my gosh, this is so much work. And it is. It's a lot more than it need to be. Um, I'll also preface by saying I hate this class. Uh, the way it's set up is miserable. So I'm going to be supplementing a bunch. We're gonna, the assignments we're going to do are very rarely going to be the assignments that they have listed because theirs are terrible. And we're going to have more fun. We're going to do something really cool with this, uh, with this class. Um, you can, however, look at the task list to kind of see what you're going to be doing, what we're going to be talking about. And so I'll, I'll give you an, an, some, some of the for instance here. We're not going to talk about pace. You don't get to decide your pace. I don't know why they have that here. Um, you're not going to, we're not going to talk about, um, that's probably the only one we're not going to get to. Not a whole lot about that course information, only because, and we're not going to do that assignment, uh, only because uh, that information is going to change as I adapt this class. It's not going to be exactly um, what they had listed. Uh, so negotiating these modules, if, the, if it's a, a module that's just one out of one, when you click up here to the next thing, it, it's going to take you to the next little module. This one now is part of course information and has two little slides in it. And you can negotiate right through them and you can kind of see where they are in the progression of the lesson. So the course motif, this is what the course, uh, what that module particular is about, what's the idea behind it. Um, and so this module, or this class is set up like a comic book. So why would you call it digital paint? I mean, why would you call it painting and drawing? I don't know. You don't do any painting in it, and, uh, and most of the drawing is sketchbook uh, and comic book stuff. So uh, we are going to take that theme, and we're going to really, really um, uh, get a little crazy with it. They have some good artist module stuff. I'm going to throw some extra artist stuff at you. And... Um, uh, the stuff we're going to make, we're going to develop, uh, I don't mind the comic book idea. The way they do it is very redundant. They have you do the same thing over and over and over again, unnecessary. We're going to uh, develop a character, take it through a step. Imagine if you were to make a graphic novel, start thinking about maybe those kinds of ideas. Uh, we are going to talk about the viewing artwork. We're going to uh, share this uh, artwork with one another. The things you create, we're going to have breakout rooms where you'll talk about what you've made and talk about what other people have made and so forth. You will need a sketchbook. It doesn't have to be formal. In fact, my favorite sketchbook is the back of bills, the back of the KU bill, the electric bill, the uh, water bill, gas bill. If it's blank on the back, I draw on it because I throw a lot of those away. And it's a good way to recycle paper. Um, but the other thing I use a lot is Chrome Canvas. And I'm going to show you this a bunch, but this is my sketchbook. And you can see it's a digital sketchbook. And I got lots of sketches. And I do a whole lot of sketching, drawing, and so forth on canvas and so i highly recommend even if you have a regular sketchbook make use of this one as well because it goes with you everywhere you go module glossary will bring you the words you might not understand i don't think much of this is written outside of uh, the reading level i'm sure most of you have attained however if there are any uh, areas that you aren't quite familiar with things you can look up to the glossary and get some um, Clarification. Navigating the course. In order to maximize your learning experience, uh, it's important to understand how the course is set up. And that is absolutely true. Uh, online learning um, can be really easy and fun. Or it can be a nightmare depending on how comfortable you are in your ability to navigate through these different areas. So um, that's why I say don't get too stressed about the course modules. I think it's a little difficult to navigate through some of these things. And so that's why I've got everything set up to the home page. I believe, uh, and if I'm wrong, please let me know, but I think it's a lot easier to navigate stuff through this little area than to try to get through all the um, little nuances they have of, in the modules. Oops. So let me show you one other thing that happens. And oh, 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 oh my goodness. I got it in there. Hold on. Okay. When we, one of the things that happens here, if you go down to the bottom right-hand corner of any of these, let me show you what happens here. It will take you very often, let me, not this one, yeah, to an assignment. An assignment. If you aren't watching the lessons or attending the class, you'll think you have to take this quiz. It says graded quiz. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I will not make you take most of the quizzes and so forth. The assessments I do are going to be those discussion-based assessments. You're going to have to come talk to me. 
Um, if you don't know how my DBAs work, you're going to find out real quick that uh, mine are simple and easy. If you've been paying attention, you're going to come in. I want to ask you about three or four questions, and you are going to prove definitively. Boy, you have been paying attention. I'm going to say, hey, you get 100%. Have a great day. The other option is you come in and you don't know 100%, and I'm going to ask you three or four questions, and instantly I'm going to know if you've been paying attention and have got the, the content. And if you haven't, I'm going to say, hey, right now you've got a zero, but don't worry because you're going to come back and see me. I'm going to send you to a link. I'm going to give you a link to whatever resource is going to help you get caught up and get figured out what you were missing, and then you're going to have to come back, and then we're going to answer those questions. If the second time you still don't know, I'm going to send you back to that link. I'm going to say, hey, you still got a zero. You got to come back and see me. If after three times of discussion-based assessments, you still don't know the content, you and I are going to open up that content together. We're going to go step by step. By step. I don't want any student to get left behind. <laughs> so uh, if you don't want to go through a one-on-one -on -one session with Mr. McGuire to learn the content, which is never really all that fun, uh, just pay attention to class. Uh, never is it going to be very difficult. So long as you're paying attention, you're going to be doing just fine. Again, if you're paying attention, you know that you don't have to do most of these quizzes and so forth. If it's not on this area right here, you're not going to find it. You're not going to, have to do it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go on and finish up the modules here. Can we do two, page two of this yet? Course information, yeah, you can read that. There's not the course information assignment. We're not going to do it. So again, thank goodness you were in class and paying attention. You thought you had to do that. Uh, pacing information. Uh, I, this is in here so you can kind of uh, see uh, that it's here. <laughs> but you don't get to choose your pace. Why we even have that in there, I don't know. But you don't have to take the quiz for the pacing. The sketchbook information, I do want you to understand and know. Um, because... Uh, you know, sketchbooks are more than just a way to work out an idea. Uh, there are ways to record the things you're thinking about, to adapt, uh, to think outside the box, to think about ways you can combine ideas. If uh, in this class we're doing the graphic novel, and let's say you have an idea for a story that also might tie into what you're doing in social studies or math or science, and you say, hey, Mr. McGuire, in science class I'm supposed to draw what a lab would look like. And it just so happens in my uh, comic book, uh, my, my character works in a lab. Can I use that for both? Absolutely, you see. Uh, there's lots of ways that we can integrate and bring those together. Why use a sketchbook? Uh, collecting, planning, developing. We talked a little bit about that just now. Um, but uh, also don't think of your sketchbook as something that has to be drawings. A lot of mine, if you look over here, I'll show you this again. Uh, notes, uh, notes, notes, half of mine have words. Some of them don't have anything in them. I don't know what that's about. Uh, <laughs> uh, but they don't, they're not all drawings. A lot of them are notes. I take uh, notes about the things I'm thinking about, the ideas I have. Uh, I'll create uh, stuff for you to think about and do sometimes on here. This is one of the ways I share. And I can post this and everybody can catch it and do it and those types of things. And and, and you can uh, share information through this type of sketchbook. Um, but why use it? Uh, there's more. Why not use it? Let's go that route. You should always be using a sketchbook. Again, you do not have to do this assignment. Uh, now, the, the comic strip assignment is actually the first one that we're going to uh, turn in. And we are going to kind of uh, take a look at it. The last thing we're going to talk about today is what is 2D, 2D art. Because that's what this entire class is. Uh, focuses on and 2 d art two dimensional. If you see that here, it says that 2D. If we click on any of the purple words, it brings us to our vocabulary, and we can find out that two dimensional is an adjective of meaning having only two dimensionals, particularly length and width, um, or height and width. Sometimes, you know, one or two. If it has depth, boom, boom, that's a three dimensional object, and that does not apply to us. We're doing 2D. So think of it as flat things. Uh, this post-it note is flat. It is two-dimensional. However, this mouse is three-dimensional because it has depth. Got the height, got the width, but it also has depth. 2D, no depth. <coughs> Paintings, drawings, photographs. These are all examples 
of two-dimensional art. And so uh, what we're going to be focusing on is that two-dimensional plane and creating the idea maybe of that three-dimensional space in there by using things like perspective, uh, aerial perspective, linear perspective, that sort of thing to kind of create the illusion. But everything we're going to do in this class is two-dimensional. Won't be touching on sculpture in this one. That is the end of our module walkthrough. I'm going to go back to the home screen real quick before I wrap up this video. Uh, on Thursday, um, there will be this link where it says link to the assignment. Our assignment will be active, and that's where you are going to turn in uh, that assignment. Also, the uh, link to the video that you're watching right this second uh, will be here as well. Uh, guys, don't go anywhere. I'm about to take attendance, and then we'll do some questions and answers. Thank you all for participating.